Hi everyone. Welcome to our dating series after 60 and this is episode 5 and this is about actually introducing your family and friends to the new person in your life. Um, you've made the decision that you do want to date. You've met someone and have started dating and you've told your family and friends about this other person. Now comes a situation where <clears throat> you are actually going to introduce them face to face. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's kind of like ripping a Band-Aid off. You can either go at it very slowly or you can just rip it off. And with Dave and I, we ripped off that Band-Aid and he met me and my daughter the, on the same day in person. And then the next day he met the rest of the family and my friends. So he didn't have much time to think about it or, or um, back out of the situation. It was at my granddaughter's uh, second birthday party. And I had already told my family and friends that Dave would be coming with me to the party. And they had their reserve opinions and whatever they, you know, thought about the situation. But in support of me, they came to the party and they were, for the most part, pleasant to Dave. So here are some tips about you introducing your significant other to your family and friends. Introducing a new partner to your immediate family can be a stressful experience for everyone involved. It's natural to want things to go smoothly, but the reality is that blending two important parts of your life can bring about a range of emotions and challenges. Here are some tips to help you navigate this process. First, prepare your partner. Give your partner a heads up about your family's dynamics, traditions, and any quirks that they might have. This can help them feel more at ease and know what to expect. Set realistic expectations. Remember that it might take time for everyone to feel comfortable with each other. Don't expect instant bonding. Relationships develop at their own pace. Communicate openly. Keep the lines of communication open with both your family and your partner. Encourage them to ask questions and express any concerns they might have. Find common ground. Look for activities or topics that everyone can enjoy or relate to. Shared experiences can help bridge gaps and create positive memories together. Be patient and supportive. Understanding that there might be awkward moments or misunderstandings. Be patient and supportive, reassuring both your partner and your family that you're committed to making this work. Respect boundaries. Everyone has their own comfort levels and boundaries. Respect these and avoid putting anyone in situations where they might feel uncomfortable or pressured. Stay positive. Focus on the positive aspects and celebrate small victories. If your partner and your family share a laugh or find a common interest, acknowledge and appreciate those moments. Seek balance. Make sure to spend time with both your family and your partner independently as well. This helps maintain individual relationships while easing the blending process. Remember, it's about integrating parts of your life that are important to you with time, patience, and understanding. Your new partner and your family can find a way to coexist harmoniously, enriching your life. Ultimately, the most important aspect is mutual understanding and respect. There is no one size fits all answer. And what's most important is that both parties feel comfortable and valued. Getting comfortable in a new relationship is an exciting yet delicate process. It's about finding a balance between being yourself and adapting to someone else's habits and preferences. Here are some tips 
to help you ease into that new relationship comfortably. Honest and open communication is foundational. Oops. I pay, oops, I went all the way back to the top. Um, share your thoughts, feelings, and experiences with your partner. Help. This helps build trust and understanding. Don't be afraid to talk about your boundaries, expectations, and any concerns you have. Don't forget to have fun. Laughter and shared joy are vital in building a happy, healthy relationship. Enjoy each other's company and create fun memories together. In conclusion, getting comfortable in a new relationship is a journey that involves mutual effort, understanding, and patience. By following these tips, you can create a strong foundation for a lasting and fulfilling relationship. Remember, the goal is to enjoy the process and grow together naturally. Thank you for listening. This was episode five. We will have episode six out next week to wrap up this dating series. I hope that you've enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one. Bye now.